Good morning, fellas. Good morning. I get up, I kind of like wake up in the morning now, and this is my daily routine. If I'm not working out, I had a decent week. Everything's, now we're back to uh, the actual uh, regime, I should say. I've been, I've been, since I started Wednesday, Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. I started Tuesday again training, so my first session was Wednesday. I did a, I did the workout I've shown you. And then yesterday I did a, I think, no, Wednesday, no, 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 we're Friday now, so. So yeah, Wednesday I did that workout and f took a, a day of just somewhat recover and just diet. Then yesterday I did sauna, push-ups, squats, other arm, arms, uh, other arms training. And today I'm probably just gonna, well I ran yesterday too, so I ran yesterday. So today I'm just gonna be walking and recovering. So today is recovery, and then if we can do that three times a week, that's all it ta it's all it takes, guys. If you diet and train three times a week, with everything else you're doing, you're okay. That's plenty. So, we're going to keep that rolling. I, I already lost four pounds from four days in four days so I'm averaging a pound a day but at the but at the beginning that's how it is like when you're just starting again your body is full of slush and fucking your guts full of shit so by the time that clears itself with the diet and the training you're gonna lose more weight at first but once all that's out then it's actual body fat that's coming off. So you're not going to be losing, you don't lose a pound of body fat a day. Unless you can. If you're, if you're on your shit, you can lose about a pound a day of body fat. But that means you're coming, you're not, you're in a calorie deficit, which is what you're supposed to do. So, I've done it. Yeah, I've always done that like that. Like, I was losing... If I want to lose a pound a day, I'll lose a pound a day of body fat. Because you think a pound's not a lot. But if you're losing a pound of body fat a day, that's a lot. But everything has to be done. You have to do the saunas, the workouts, and the diet. And then your active rest and the proper recovery. So if you're lift, you so if I'm lifting three times, there's always a resistance aspect in every workout. The reason being is because you want to be you want to be burning fat at least three nights, three three times a week while you're sleeping. So if I'm so if I'm doing so if you're doing a resistance every time you're training then you're one so you're doing three so you got three nights where you're burning body fat while you're sleeping not counting the cardio you did that day or yeah not counting the cardio you did those days on those days or those other days so if you're doing cardio on Monday just as a random not training day that doesn't count so you burn fat while you were doing that and the next day you do your resistance so you're burning fat all that night and that day and then same thing if you're just recovering if you're recovering that day 
the diet takes care of the rest if you're dieting next day again resistance now you get another day of burning fat another night of burning fat plus whatever you've done and then cardio again so you're constantly burning burning yeah you're constantly burning fat because of the resistance and then your everyday your everyday uh, routine plus on your recovery days because you're still you're still your muscles are still repairing so you're you're still burning fat oh so if you can burn fat a weekly round that's when you that's when you that's why you're that's why there's lean people out there that's why there's people walking around in shape. If you do that, you'll be in shape too. So, just do that. There's always, I always get to a point too where I'm like, I let it, I don't know why that happens. I don't know why it happens, but things happen sometimes. They're just, yeah, you get, you get knocked off the, you get, you just get off the, off the wagon sometimes. Then you gotta, yeah, it's weird. It's cause you're, yeah, you have to put yourself in that position. You have to make the time. You have to, you have to put your mind on it. You have to keep your mind on it. That's all. Because even though you don't have anything else to do, let's say. Let's say you have nothing else to do. It doesn't mean you're going to want to de de dedicate a couple hours a day to working out. So it's got to be, it's got to be mentally put in there. You have to mentally tell yourself. Okay, I have to start training a couple hours a day. Ah, a couple hours a week. It doesn't have to be a couple hours a day. So if you do half an hour every day or every other day and keep your diet in check, you're going to be fine. Okay. Well, well, I'm going to roll in. I already feel like after a week but like i was saying i'm not always i'm always doing something hard so it's never but it wasn't specific so when i'm tr when i start training it's not like i'm starting from scratch because it's not like i've never felt this pressure or resistance on my it's not like it's anything new it's just different and more specific like i'm doing bicep curls now or i'm doing specific leg squats or or chest like those are not things you use in everyday life like you don't need to that's why that's why it's also that's why I only it's all it's just for us just as for looks basically like I'm training when I'm doing when I'm exercising it's for looks there's no other there's no other purpose of it like it's not a big chest won't do anything for me in real life. It's it's useless. But I'm not even trying to get a big chest. I'm just talking about the guys who have big chests. You're useless. Like it's not it's not an everyday You never need to push this way in real life. Ever. So having tits this big I'm not gonna that's not gonna do anything for you except make your back slouch because you're carrying weight that's why I don't do heavy chest lifts I'll do a cup it's all it's all push-ups just to tone them just to keep them toned it's not to fucking grow my tits out, out to here same with legs but legs, I don't care if they get bigger because I'm not too worried about having big legs. I do a few squats a, a week. Maybe a, one squat, squat day a week. That's it.
The rest is running and pedaling. So I'm not worried about getting big legs. I'm not going to get big legs, which is what I don't want. I just, they just need to be toned and in shape. Arms, same thing. I don't care. The arms, that's the only thing that I don't care if they get big. Because it's not easy getting big arms. So you're never going to be like, oh well, I don't want to do this. I don't want to get my arms too big. Don't worry about getting too big. Your arms will never be big enough. So you, you don't have to worry about like skipping arms because you're scared to get them too big. It takes a lot to get big arms. It takes a lot of... If you get big arms, it's because you specifically wanted big arms and you've, and you've made your arms a priority, which is okay. But don't worry about getting too big as far as your arms go. Chest, you can definitely get too big of a chest. And it's useless. Arms, at least, you can put... Arms, at least, it applies to something. Having strong arms is never going to be a... Having big, strong arms will never be a bad thing. One day you might need to climb a tree, or <laughs> you never know. You might have to arm wrestle some guy one day. Even though that might not help you, because it's not the same movement. The difference between, like you can have the strongest bicep, but this is this way. If you don't have this, it's not going to help you. You got to have the you gotta have the, the cranker muscle. The functional strength, as they would say, the mechanic strength, the com the carpenter's strength, or the working man's strength. The guy who works his hands all day, those guys are those guys will take your hand and rip your hand off. Yeah, so as far as that, that's that that's how I do it. I don't I don't uh I don't put a limit on my arm days. And chest, I never do chest to get big, to get big chest. I do like I'll do 100 push-ups or whatever a day. That will not make it bigger, but it's going to tone it as fuck makes it nice and round not droopy push-ups are good for that it just makes your chest nice and tight that's all you want yeah so all you want is a hard chest hard toned chest what else Whoo. okay yeah Alright guys, so that's my take on the toned body. You just want to be toned. Toned and athletic. You want to be athletic at the end of the day. You want to be able to move. And that's it. You just want to be able to move and be strong. So, alright guys. Let's, let's hit the road. Alright guys, talk to you guys later.